Praise the Lord, everyone. Good evening and good morning po sa inyong lahat. Muli po na nagpabalik sa inyo ang inyong lingkod. Na muli po ako narito sa inyo upang magbahagi po ako ng salita ng Diyos na na pagkain natin spiritually araw-araw. So, napaka-importante po na pakainin po natin ang ating kaluluwa ng salita ng Diyos. Kasi po, kung palagi lang po kakainin natin, papakainin natin ang physical natin, ay hindi po balance yon hindi po maganda. Kailangan po, parehas po natin pakainin our spiritual life and physical life. So, spiritual life, we need the word of God. And it says in the Matthew, Matthew 4, 4, it says, Man shall not live, uh, man shall not live by bread alone but by every word proceeded out of the mouth of God. So, napaka-importante po ng salita ng Diyos sa buhay natin. So, praise the Lord. Tonight, I'm going to share with you in the book of Psalms 23. But before I'm going to share this uh, with you, uh, we have to pray first. And you can pray with me while you are um, listening this video. O oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I came before you, O oh Lord God, and I'm here, Father, Lord Jesus. My faith is completely firm in you, Father, O oh God. I believe you, Father, that you are the only one, God. There is none like you. There is none beside you. And Father Jesus, you are the God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the king of the universe, the king of the earth. I worship you, Jesus. And Father, I completely, Father, trust in you tonight that you are with me, Father, O oh God. While I'm sharing this lesson, to all the people into this world. Father, I want to thank you, Father, for your anointing upon your servant, the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your anointing, O God. And Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, to send your Holy Spirit upon their life right now. To those people who are watching this video, Father, and listening this video, O oh God, send your Holy Spirit, Father. Embrace them with your love, Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, to open their ears, Father, O oh God, to hear your voice that you are calling them, Father, O oh God. Open their eyes to see you, Father, O oh God, in their life, Father, O oh God, that there is none beside you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you are God, Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, O oh God. And Father, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I am your servant, Father, your followers, Father. Help them, Father, O oh God, Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, to follow you also, Father, O oh God. Because to have you, Father, I have everything, Lord Jesus. Because you are, Father, you are the source of everything in my life, Father, O oh God. And tonight, I thank you, Father, for this lesson that I'm going to share Father, oh God, for all for all the people into this world, thank you, Father, for your word. Bless this word, Father, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that, oh God, the people that are watching this, Father, they will feel your love. They will feel, Father, how much you love them, Father, oh God. And Father, thank you so much for your blessings upon this word. 
Thank you so much, Father, for your anointing. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that you sent it to them, Father, O oh God. Father, thank you so much and let your will be done, Father. Let your will be done, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. Tonight, I have my Bible. I hope and I pray you have your Bible already because I keep telling you to get one for yourself because this is your treasure. This is the treasure that is very important in your life. So, you can read it to me while I'm uh, reading this book of Psalms 23. You can open now your Bible in the book of Psalms 23. So, I meditate this word because I love this word. I love this, um, this song and prayer. I really love this word. So, we start in number one until to six. It says here, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Amen. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, do I walk through the valley of death? I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comport me. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever praise the lord amen guys napakaganda po ng salita ng panginoon praise the lord everyone tonight i'm going to share with you the book of psalms 23 so praise god at muli po ako nandito sa inyo upang magbahagi ng salita ng diyos so, praise the Lord. You can open your Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter 23, number 1 to 6. It says, I, this is my Bible. It says in the book of Psalms 23, this word I meditated for a long time ago. So, I have this in my heart and in my mind. So, if you can open your Bible, you can read it with me. Psalms 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comport me. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever hallelujah thank you jesus for your beautiful word oh god what a wonderful word lord jesus and guys i'm going to share with you about this because psalm 23 is one of my favorite song it's a poem and a prayer it's a heart filled outpouring towards God it tells us the story of God as a caring shepherd and caring host it's also a prayer that uses 
beautiful imagery to stir our emotion and to invite us to bring our lives under God's care. So wonderful. As we can see or as we can read in the book of um, 1 Samuel, a poem that written by David, as a young boy, he was the shepherd who famously killed the giant Goliath. And I will tell you about the story of David and Goliath. This very short story, guys, I have to show you. I have the story of David and Goliath. And says the story here, Goliath was a giant. He came to fight God's people. The soldiers didn't want to fight Goliath. He was too big and strong. But a boy named David was not afraid. God had blessed David and made him very brave. Praise the Lord. David stood before the giant Goliath. He said, I have come to fight you in the name of God. He drew a stone at Goliath. The stone hit the giant right in the middle of his forehead. Excuse me. He would never bother the people again. David was a hero. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what a wonderful, what a wonderful story of David. So David also wrote many Psalms, which is, which sit right in the middle of the Bible. And even today, as you capture the different season of life from joy and celebration to darkness, frustrating, worrying, and fame, David draw on his own experience of following God through challenging times. See, what a story of this, so wonderful, so beautiful. David draw on his own experience of following God through challenging times. So we can do the same in our lives. Because David's life, his life, like most of ours, had its ups and its downs too. But David, in the book of Psalms 23, he draw on his personal experience of caring for sheep. Sheep are completely dependent on the shepherd. So, so great word. And God as a shepherd and as his sheep means we are the followers of God. We are, we, you, you are the followers of God. So, God's care for us. And if we let God lead us, He'll take care for us too. So, yes, it's so wonderful. And the frustration, situation, it doesn't matter situation you have at this time, at this moment, whatever you have situation right now, or you are facing a trials, any circumstances in your life, you can just draw yourself to God. And the words of God said, uh, draw nigh to me and I will draw near to you. So, so great if you, you, will draw near, draw, you will draw yourself to God in the uh, many situations in life. You need God in your life. So, God care for us. And if we let God lead us, He'll take care of us too. So if you 
let God lead you your life he will take care for you in the book of Psalms chapter 4 it says yeah do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death that is what is stated it doesn't matter um, what circumstances that you are facing or it's about death or whatever God is carrying you God is God God is with you because he take care for you that's the promise of God and you can see in this passage that God is with us because it says yeah do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death so God is with us even you walk through the valley of the shadow of death God is with you he will take care for you if you let him if you let him lead your life and, and if you uh, uh, follow him and trust him he will take care for you and we must understand in this passage that David says that yeah do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death as you can see that David um, he is um, uh, confident confident trusting him because like I told you that his life and our life is the same David David has it it ups and it's down too it's like us we have a lot of um, up and downs but if you know if we know that God is with us how can be against us God is powerful God is powerful we must just understand that every day God is with us and we must know in our life that God is with us the things in this um, lesson we must understand and we must uh, always invite God in our life every day so we can know who he is because if we don't know him when the times of trials troubles any circumstances you are facing if you really don't know him it's hard to face it's it's very hard so you need God and there's a time in our life even our our own strength and courage is often not enough to overcome the hard times it's true guys there's a time in our life it doesn't matter what we are doing you call your friend you ha you tell to your friend I have a problem I I need your help or your friend yes she heard you or he heard you but it's still not enough even your own courage is not enough to overcome the hard times in your life because you need him you need God because God promised that he is the one can get us through that's the promise of God he is the one who can get us through we are the sheep the followers of God will guide us and keep us on the path with his rod and his staff that is what he says yeah do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me thou anointest my head with oil my cup run it over what a confidence
Hallelujah, Jesus. He is the one who will comport us through the valley of the shadow of death. No others. Only Jesus will comport us in the valley of the shadow of death. Sometimes we feel our life. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I'm so worrying. I don't have a job. Uh, I'm sick. I frustrated. I'm tired. Um, what, what other reason you have? You know what? God has a promise for you. God has a promise for you. He's the only one that can take you or overcome all the trials that you are facing right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. God care for us. As you can see in the Psalms number 5, He prepares a table for us. Yes, He said, He prepared the table in the presence of my enemy. Yes, guys, He prepares a table for us. In this passage, God invites us to bring our lives under His care. This is the invitation for you to bring your life to Jesus and He will take care for you. So if you think your life is broken and no hope, God is the only one can restore the broken life. He is the only one that can restore everything in your life. And if you think your life is broken, just draw near yourself to God. Call Him. In His words in um, Jeremiah 33, 3, Call unto me, and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which that know it not. So, napakaganda. Just call Him. Invite Him in your life. Seek Him, who, who He is, who is God. Who, who is God that I am talking to you right now. He is the God that inviting you to bring your life to Him. He is the one. He's the one. And He is the God that saved my life. He is the true God. The only God. That sacrificed everything. He gives everything for us. Because of His love for us. He is the only hope that you need. He is the only hope. And He is the only hope that you are looking for for a long time ago. He is the only one, nothing else. Your husband, children, family, Friends, relatives, but if you don't have him in your life and in your family, life is too sad. Because why? When the days come, you will see the goodness of God because He will come back soon. 
He's coming back. And if you are not ready, there's a sad thing happen in our life. That when Jesus returns, you are not ready. Your family is not ready. Your children is not ready. That's a sad thing. Moments. So he's the only one that can change everything to your life. Yes, he's the only one. Because you cannot change your life without him. You need the presence of God upon you. Only the presence of God can transform us. I cannot change myself without the presence of God. This, the presence of God transformed my life. And yes, I am still not perfect. I'm still walking and following Him. But God is so powerful. Because I know He is just here. Because we are the temple of God. God will it in us. And when there's a time that we are um, busy for many things, or there's a time that uh, we are uh, walking not in His way, God always reminds us. God always teaches me through dreams, or I heard him. I'm, to, I'm so thankful for that. Because we are the temple of God. God can speak to us if we listen his voice, if, we'll, if, if we be sensitive. Because you can, you can identify the voice of God and identify the voice of the world. So if we follow the Good Shepherd, we're on our way to our ultimate victory in glorious home. So if we follow God, we are in our ultimate victorious in glorious home. If we follow Him, because if we follow Him, guys, as we can read, He leadeth us in the path of His righteousness for His name's sake. Yes, it's very important to follow the true God, our Savior. That is Jesus. That is what David says. That is what David said. Surely goodness shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So my friend. I know you are watching right now. If you follow Jesus, I guarantee you, if you follow Him, if you obey Him, you are in your way, you are on your way to victorious in glorious life. It's so very important, my friend, to know Jesus in your life. It's very important to have Him every day in your life. And it's very important to have the Word of God in your life. Because if you open this, like what the Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, it says, 
that's the voice of God. When I open this, when I open the Bible that I have before, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. So it's very important to have the Holy Bible, which is the Word of God. Because every time you are reading this Word, I know there's a time that you cannot understand. But if you ask and pray to God to give you wisdom to understand this Word, God will give you understanding. Because He is the powerful God. And He is there. He is sitting beside you. He is watching you. And He said, Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to me. Give your life to me. That is what He is telling to you. Give your life to me, my child. Give your life to me. I love you. Give your life to me. Thank you for listening. And I pray you learn, you learn something tonight about how important to have Jesus in your life. Thank you for continually watching my video. And I'm thankful to God about this sharing the Word of God because there's a time I don't want to uh, just get, just take a video. I can take video um, many things but I rather me to take a video um, sharing the Word of God because I know this is important, very important to everyone. So I always pray to God that His Word will be heard to all the world. And tonight, thank you. Thank you so much. And before I end this video, I'm going to pray to God once again. And you can pray with me. You can talk to Him. God is waiting for you to talk. You can talk to Him. He said, you can talk to me. God said, I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Talk to me. Talk to me, my child. Talk to me. So thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And I'm so blessed that you will listen this video. And I'm so blessed to apply this word in your life. Thank you so much. And I'm I'm here continually praying for everybody in this world. Thank you so much. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, Jesus. You are magnificent, omnipotent God. The great I am, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Rock of my salvation. The joy of my heart. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. Father Jesus, thank you for your powerful word. Thank you 
for your presence upon us tonight. Thank you, Father, O God, in the name of Jesus. Upon the people that listen in this video, thank you, Father, that they are starting talking to you. Thank you, Father, that they are starting starting reading your word, Father, O God. Lord Jesus, I ask you to give them wisdom, understanding for your word. And I pray, Father, O God, send your healing power upon their life. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Whatever, Father, O God, situation in their life, Help them, Father, O oh God, restore their life. Give them hope, Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And if they feel, Father, O oh God, any frustration in their life, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Send your Holy Spirit upon them right now, Father, O oh God, to restore them, Father. Give them, give them joy in their heart, Father, O oh God, which is the joy, Father, is your presence upon us, O oh Lord Jesus. Help them, Father, to worship you. Help them, Father, to love you in the name of Jesus. Help them, Father, to open their mouth, hallelujah, to say your name, Father, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, shikarerah, Jesus. And Father, send your healing power to those people that are suffering right now, Father, for any sickness or diseases right now. I speak healing, Father, upon their life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh, hallelujah. And Father, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. I pray to those people, Father, oh God, that they torn away from you, Father, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I send your Holy Spirit upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, O God. To turn again, Father, to you. Turn back again, Father, to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That they will remember, Father, your word that they heard from you, Father, O God. Restore their first love to you, Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, O oh God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And to those people, Father, even in the church, Father, O oh God, but they feel weak spiritually, Father. Oh, Father, I intercede in you right now to send your Holy Spirit upon everyone, Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Restore their first love to you, Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh Lord Jesus. And I pray, Father, O Halabashi Karabokoshi Karahaya, O God. To all, Father, O God, the people into this world, Lord Jesus, Harabakashi Karahaya, O God. That there are too busy into this world, Lord Father, Harabakashi Karahaya. Oh, I pray, Father, O God, Hokashiro Bokashi Karahaya. Send your people upon their lives, Father, to reach them out, Father, O oh God, that they will give their time to you, Father, to pray, Father, O oh God, to talk to you, Father, 
to read your word, Father, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Because all the things in this world will banish away, Father. But your word, Father, will remain, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I speak salvation, Father, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I speak salvation, Father, hallelujah, for my family, in the name of Jesus, relatives, Father, oh God, hallelujah, and to all the people, into this world, Father, oh God, have your way upon their life, Father, like what you has done to me, what you have done to me, Father, you saved me, Father, you call me, Father, O oh God, hallelujah, from darkness, and you bring me into your marvelous light. And now, Father, I'm walking into your light. Thank you, Jesus. Help them, Father, and forgive them, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Forgive them, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you, Father, for your beautiful word. And I pray, Father, to you, continually, Father, all the pastors, Pastor White and family, continually, Father, oh God, to cover them with your precious blood, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Cover them. Surround them with your presence, oh God, upon their life, Father, oh God. And continually, Father, anoint them, Father, O oh God, by the power of your Holy Spirit to speak your word, Father, O oh God. Every pastor in the whole world, Father, O oh Lord Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. All the evangelism, Father, missionaries, hallelujah, Father, O oh God. Empowered and power, Father, Lord Jesus. Empowered and Father, oh God. With your Holy Spirit upon their life, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. To all my brothers and sisters in the whole world, Father, Lord Jesus. Continually, every one of us, oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. To empower us. To fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. And hold on to your eternal life, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Father God, for your presence. Your presence is awesome, oh God. Bless your holy name, Father Jesus. Bless your holy name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Father. I know you are the God. And this is your will, Father, to share your word, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. This is your will, Lord. This is your will, Father, O oh God. In all the glory, Father, belongs to you alone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.